Hey up lads and lasses, Danfi here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Today, carrying on with uh, more of the fighters, we're going to have a look at the Vetus B, and I'm hopefully going to try and get, um, probably not the Heyudin, because I've literally just got that. See, I told you, if we just go through the fighters, I'll have them all by the end. Um, anyway, Vetus B, and hopefully I'll record the Strix as well today, and then I can get those scheduled and released and edited and all that good stuff. So... First off, Vetus B. I know this is quite a popular one, um, literally because it's like the strongest anti ship in the game for its CP cost, which is technically zero. Um, I mean, I guess you could technically say it's the cost of whatever carrier bring, uh, you bring in, but you're going to be running those anyway 90% of the time. So, you know, is what it is. But yeah, it's got absurd um, damage potential, mostly due to the fact that it has this plasma bombardment system, which I'll talk about in a minute, uh, which is just great alpha, relatively all right fire rate, and it's energy. So it is just chunkage, uh, regardless of whatever you kind of do with it. So first off with it, uh, mostly due to the fact that by the time I've got these out, I normally have a screen for the Vetus, uh, so they don't get targeted before, you know, everything else gets targeted, including my anti-air. Um, so by the time these things are, like, targeted, uh, I've probably lost that fight anyway, and you'd be looking to probably try and, you know, get the hell out of there, or, you know, you've already won. So due to that, I just go straight in on the weapon, and um, it's a current setup that I'm testing out. Um, seems to be doing all right. I've picked up the strategy here. I'm not even sure if that's necessary, but at the same time, you know, you don't really have that much choice here. So, jumping on the weapon first, I highly recommend picking up the double cooldowns first. This does really help ump its damage up a little bit further, and then picking up the hit rate against cruisers and higher class ships. Um, the reason I like picking this up is I just like to guarantee that the attacks are going to hit with this thing. It's not necessary, but at the same time, you're either going to be picking up siege damage or reducing the target selection time. And I don't think the target selection time is necessary at the end of the day because you generally put this on a ship like um, Solar Whales and stuff like that, and its priority is like pretty big ships Anyway, it's large priority with carriers, battle cruisers, auxiliary. So even if you are, you know, going in for that kill the bloody carriers as fast as you can sort of deal, um, it's still like a 30 seconds. And then, yeah, okay, the retarget on this thing is 12 seconds, which is a little bit long. So it could do with maybe a little bit of a, a buff. So there's a potential here where maybe you do pick up some of the target selection time, but you don't pick all of it up. I run the target selection time on my carrier instead, so that's where it's going to reduce the whole fleet, and it still keeps me in that sort of balanced state where I know certain things are going to be you know, in front of this thing, so it's got a screen. So I don't personally pick up the target selection time for that reason. Uh, so after the cooldown and after I picked up the hit rate, this is where I pick up the double plasma damage, and I'll finish that off with the crit damage. The uh, chance to cause crit... It does seem to work. It's a bit odd, though. It's like the other systems where it hasn't got innate crit on the weapon, but there is innate crit on all weapon systems in the game, and it's just not listed. Uh, so, the, you know, the extra 50% damage and stuff does actually work, uh, albeit you won't see it pop off too frequently. Uh, so you can, like, remove this, do, like, 100 battles, and then put it on, do another 100 battles, and you won't see like huge, you won't see a 50% damage increase for certain, uh, not even close. So I'm not entirely sure um, where this is sort of sat, because it, it, it's supposed to increase the crit chance by 50%. If that's a multiplicative of like some really low crit chance is why that's not triggering very often. It's got, you know, one in a thousand shots, and now it's getting 50%. It's, you know, it's not really going to do all that much, is it? So I think that's where, you know, you're not seeing much crit chance and crit damage like increases on ships that don't have specifically uh, the crit um, sort of feature or whatever on the weapon system, which is normally listed just here. 
So you can pick it up. It doesn't hurt to pick it up. You can definitely swap this out for siege damage. Um, you know, that's completely fine. I have no issue with dropping crit damage and picking up the siege damage because, you know, an extra, I think it's like 30% siege damage or something crazy, um, actually does help you out quite a bit when you are trying to, like, bomb out uh, enemy bases or, you you know, you're hitting those cities and that kind of stuff. So it's not actually a bad shout uh, at all. I picked up the evasion here, which increases evasion by 30%. Uh, uh, with a cooldown of 30 seconds when it gets targeted by enemy aircraft. Um, it's not necessary because I think at the point where if you've got your fleet with the right screen in front, if they've got to the Vetus at that point, you're probably you know, already lost that fight and looking to retreat anyway. So the act of maneuvers is maybe not the best of uh, picks. Uh, but again, your only other choice is another 30% crit damage, uh, siege damage here, which, you know, I just argued is useful. You could get 60% uh, siege damage here instead. I was just going to test this out a little bit, see what, you know, the Vetus has uh, available to it. After that, I like going into the propulsion system. Again, picking the evasion just in case this thing does get attacked. But again, it might be completely redundant. And again, I've picked, I'm have picked. i going straight into the HP here. I've chosen to ignore the lock-on times, and it's due to the fact that when people start pumping enough lock-on time, I don't think the weapon, like the increased lock-on time on them, um, is enough to warrant it. You know, people can run around with 100% uh, lock-on times on uh, T-800s and stuff, and they just like insta-lock things. So I don't really think that increase in the weapon lock on time is particularly useful here. So I will be going triple HP, uh, getting that already pretty decent HP for a fighter or bomber in this case, up to uh, its highest potential. And then that last slot, I will be picking up one of the increased weapon lock, lock on times. Uh, after that, in the propulsion system, I actually leave this open and blank. You can pick up one of the target selection times here, but like I mentioned earlier, I tend to pick them on the carrier itself. Um, and that way my fleet's all sort of balanced and I know like where I picked target selection times. I don't have to pick target selection time on this because I want the screen out in front and that kind of thing. Um, so I actually leave it blank on this ship personally. So there you go. There is uh, an argument that, yeah, you can get it into a point. If you want to be bothered to calculate um, the target selection times, you can pick this up, max it out. Just make sure that you've got something with, uh, you know, that's screening in front of this thing, uh, even with the uh, reduced target selection time. So I think that's pretty much it for the V to B. It's a great, great ship. If you've got this thing and you don't have carriers, even put them on KCCPV 2.0s. They will bring absurd DPM into your fleet. Um, and these are like currently in the, the, the required section of the meta, uh, pretty much. The, you know, the amount of damage these brings is just absurd. So, you know, there you go. That's it. The Vetus B probably needs a nerf. Actually, it doesn't need a nerf. We just need, you know, AA to be functional and then it'd probably, yeah, probably be all right. But um, otherwise, yeah. Vetus B, fantastic little uh, fighter bomber. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.